What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the SAL instruction. Now the SAL instruction, short for shift arithmetic left, the instruction works the same as the SHL instruction. For each shift count, SAL shifts each bit in the destination operand to the next highest bit position. The lowest bit is assigned 0 and the highest bit is moved to the carry flag. So I'll show you how that works right now. Over here, this is our syntax of a SAL instruction. This is how it looks. We start off by typing in SAL, we hit space, we type in our destination operand, then we hit comma, then we hit space, then we type in our count. Now our count is how many bits we wanted to shift over. Uh, if you want to shift over one bit, you can put a count of one. If you want to shift over two bits, then you'll put a count of two. So down here, this is an example of a 8-bit uh, binary value, right? This is a binary value of 1, right? So if we use the SAL instruction, right, what would happen is, I'll show you right here, every, all the bits would move to the left, right? This lowest bit here will, will, be, uh, will get replaced with a 0. This 1 would be shifted over. All the zeros would shift over. And whatever was in this highest bit would be moved to the CF uh, flag. So let's, let's, let me give you an example of how it looks right here. It would be 0, 0, 0, 0. Five, six, one, zero. So let's just line them up. Now, again, if we use the SAL instruction, we can use the count of one, remember? Uh, all the bits would be shifted over to the left one. The lowest bit would be replaced with a zero. Everything else would be moved over. And whatever was in the highest bit here would be moved over to the CF flag. So let's open up MU8086 so I can give you an example of how it works. Let's start off by moving some values around. I'm going to move into AL, because AL is an 8-bit uh, destination, or 8-bit operand. And I'm going to move into AL an 8-bit value. And it's going to be a value of 1. So I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros and 1, because this is binary for 1 here. And since it's a binary value, we're going to type in B at the end, or Boolean. Basically, um, now let's use the SAL instruction. We're going to type in SAL, so that's our instruction. We're going to hit space. We're going to type in our destination operand. Our destination operand is AL. So we're going to type in AL, comma, hit space. Now we're going to type in our count. Again, our count is how many times do we want this to shift over to the left. I want it to shift over to the left one time, so I'm going to type in one. So let's hit emulate. Now our first line of code here is highlighted, right? Move into AL, the binary value of one, 8-bit binary value one. So once I hit single step, AL should have a value of one. And as you can see, AL now has a value of one. Now our second line of code here is highlighted. That This is our SAL instruction. And uh, once I hit single step, the AX should have a value of two. Because remember, uh, once we uh, use the AL instruction, right, and uh, we uh, use the count of one, and in our destination operand we had a value of one, our results would be two. So let's just test that out. I'm gonna hit single step here. And as you can see, AL now has a value of two, and it's pretty simple. Now, if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.